Hello there. Are you excited to try to learn how to do early space jump boots in Metro Prime Remastered? In the original Metro Prime game, it is possible to get early space jump boots literally right after you land on Dallon Overworld by just using a scan dash. Unfortunately, scan dashing is patched in this version. To be fair, it has been patched since player's choice version, and it has never existed in trilogy version. Even using an enemy for a combat dash is patched. For the remastered version, there are two methods that work, just like in the Wii version, and I will teach you one of them. This method is more reliable. We will be using this rock, and bomb jump up on this tiny ledge over here. I will show you how that is, that is done. The idea is to lay down a bomb and bomb jump like that. There's a one trick for that and I will showcase it here for you. You can spring ball in the Metro Prime Trilogy as well as in Metro Prime Remastered by using a gyro control. It will be helpful for you. If you don't use gyro, it will be possible but a little harder, let's say. So when you lay down a bomb, this is the height you get normally. And that's also the height with the spring ball. But if you spring ball as the first bomb is about to explode, you get a little bit more height. You may have not noticed that at all, but it's a tiny bit more height that will help you to get this bomb jump to work and actually make you land easier up there. As you can see, the ledge is really thin. It's hard to land on it. Now when you are up here, you would think that you can simply just jump up to this platform. You cannot actually. There is an invisible wall. I was holding up there and I just fall off because there, I couldn't la land on the thin edge anymore. When you land on this thin edge, what you can do to get past this invisible wall is to walk really slowly towards that wall. And that is done by looking at this kind of direction. It doesn't matter, but you need to hold forward and go walk very slowly like this. If you see Samus going down like this, then you're holding too much. Just slightly move forward until you see Samus to bonk to the ball like this. And when that happens, all you can simply do is to jump and hold forward to get past the invisible wall and get early space jump. As early as after bombs. I hope you will enjoy the game and doing this sequence break.